Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. Welcome back to Colorful Creations. If it's your first time here and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. I try to post once a week, twice a week. Um, it depends. Sometimes life gets really busy and I don't have time, but I do try to at least once a week. So this is the top of a coffee table. It's glass. It's just it's held on by three bolts and it's just taken off. I'll show you at the end with it all put together. Um, I didn't do anything really special to prep it. I just wiped it down with a baby wipe to get rid of any fingerprints. And I took off, there was a little sticker here, here that said tempered glass. I took that off. So these are all the colors I'm gonna be using. I'll put all the colors in the description and on the screen for you. They're mixed how I normally mix them. I just, they're thinned a little bit more. If I can kind of show you in a cup here, there's not, as much of a mound left. It's just a bit that it kind of runs in. So I'm gonna use a white face. It's gonna be a Dutch pour, so I'm gonna use my hair dryer. So I just have an attachment. This is pretty messed up with paint. Um, I got a set of these on Amazon for 20 bucks. I think there was a few different sizes. I like this one the best. And this just fits right on the end of the hair dryer. There's nothing special about that. And I also have an airbrush if I'm um, Sometimes I feel like it needs a little more details and I'll use that. I don't use paint in it. It's just for the air. It's just a lot easier than blowing it with my mouth or um, using the straw. I get super lightheaded when I do that and it makes it very unenjoyable. I think that's all. I will tell you the names of colors as I throw them on there. So I'm really excited to do this. This is actually a gift for a girl. She is... 10 years old and um, her, she has a TV in her room and it's on something like, something really crabby and wobbly and I thought I'd get her this and uh, make it super pretty for her. I'm gonna put resin on this too so that uh, she can kind of use it. This is very uneven. I'm just gonna take my hair dryer and uh, blow it out of it. It's actually better to pour it on and then tip the cannabis or whatever you have, tip it around, even it out. So this is kind of heavy, it's glass, and I just didn't feel comfortable doing that. So hopefully it'll be okay. I'm gonna torch this, torch the bubbles. There's a lot of bubbles in this. I just mixed up this white, so. When you first mix up paint, there's a, there's a lot more bubbles in it. If I had left that sit for a day or two, it would be much less, but I always torch it anyway, because you're gonna get some bubbles, I mean, just putting it on and whipping it around, you're gonna end up getting some. So I don't really think it matters much to wait. I mean, I like it when I have extra paint mixed up and I don't have to mix it all the same day. That is convenient, but I don't I don't do it ahead of time just because of the bubbles. Okay, I'm gonna start out with, uh, it's phthalo green and this is by Montmart. Um, and I have a little bit of iridescent pour medium in it. I have actually put the, pour, the iridescent pour medium in all all of the ones, pretty much all of them. The only ones I did it were the ones that already have iridescent or metallic. This is, um, it's actually Montmartre as well, and it is ultramarine blue, and it has a little bit of Sergeant Art metallic blue. Cobalt, metallic cobalt blue. I can't remember who it's by right now, but I will put it on the screen when I edit this. So uh, this is uh, Magenta, and this is by Montmart, and I have some of the iridescent medium in it too. Purple by Montmart, same thing, has some of the iridescent in it. I'm gonna zigzag in some of them like that because I want to make sure they don't get covered. I want them to all show. This is a color shift by Folk Art. I don't remember the name of it right off. It's Blue Flash, I think, but I will put that on the screen. I don't know, I think a color shift might look good. This is Pebio Iridescent Blue Green, one of my favorite colors. Um, this is a little different. It's a uh, Pebio Iridescent um, Green Yellow. I'm hoping this is gonna look okay, give a little contrast. And I have a tiny little bit of this folk art color shift left. It's purple, I think it's called Purple Flash. But I will find out for sure and put that on the screen and in the description. So it's just a little bit of it left. And the last one is actually by Deco Art. It's, I'm not sure of the quality, but it's hot pink. 
it's like a neon pink and this is very transparent so i am worried this is going to be just gone i should have probably put a little bit of white in it um, now that i'm thinking but i'm just going to put it on top and hopefully it doesn't get washed away if it does then i know that i should have put some white in it <laughs> you don't get too stretched in that because i really i really would like that to show and i know this little girl really likes pink Okay, so there is all the colors. I'm gonna put white along the side here because I really want this to move really easily. I think this is good. I had to go over it there a couple times because I realized there was a lot of paint on this and I wanted to make sure it was gonna go across, but yeah, there was a lot and I didn't, didn't I don't want it to crack. So, um, you see it's a really nice cells. Oh, the iridescents look amazing under this light and with the resin, they're going to look phenomenal. I just really hope nothing cracks because it is a lot of paint on here. I'm wondering if I can do anything with the brush. Maybe a little bit in these like empty spots, just a tiny bit, just to kind of I'm just gonna leave it. I think this is, I think she'll like this. This is all, she loves to see all these colors. How can you go wrong, right? So I'm just gonna give this a torch. I'm just gonna touch up these edges a little bit here. I'm just gonna take a little paint knife or you can use spatula or anything and just scrape the excess paint under the edge all right here we are it's so pretty i just really hope it dries okay see these pretty cells in here and the iridescence i'm not sure if this is even picking it up this is going to look so amazing with resin Look at these colors. So did they all show up? Purple, definitely. I'll go through the list actually. So the green, yes. The dark blue, the cobalt blue, yes. Magenta, the Pebio iridescent blue green, yes, I see that one. The color shifts, I think, yes. I see the blue one and the purple is, I think that would be the purple mixed in with magenta and the hot pink. Do you think end up with any hot pink? I think so. There's little specks of it. Yes, there's for sure. There's a hot pink there too. That I'm looking. Okay, sweet. All the colors show.
please dry. Please dry perfect. Now I let this dry for two weeks before I put resin on it. It dried pretty good. There's a couple little hairline cracks in it, but they're too small to even notice, and the resin will fill it, luckily. Um, I'm using magic resin here. I normally use art resin, which is much more expensive, but I got some magic resin for like half the price, so I thought I'd try it out. Works the same, it's just a little trickier with temperature. Like, you really need to make sure the resin is, is room temperature before you mix it, or it's really hard to mix and you can't get the bubbles out. But it's mixed the same, one-to-one, -one, spread it on, and it's self-leveling, so um, that's pretty good. You just gotta make sure the whole thing's covered and it'll it'll kind of fix itself. And then just let it sit in a room that's at least 20 degrees Celsius for 24 hours, and it will harden, and then it will cure after 72. So just spread it evenly and let it sit. It's kind of all you gotta do. If it's a room where you're gonna get have a, a lot of traffic through it, you need to put some some type of a tent over it to keep the dust from falling in it because. I mean, you kind of have to redo it once something falls in it. And then after you're done spreading it out really well, take a torch or heat gun or something like that and use it to get all the air bubbles out. And here it is finished. It cured beautifully. Look at these metallics and iridescence showing. Like, it looks so much better. I wish I had a really good place to show you this, like, outside, but it was storming and I didn't, I couldn't get it out there. Plus this thing's really heavy. So um, I gave it to her and she absolutely loved it, just so you know. So let me know what you think of this in the comments. And give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.